So if you want to look at the motion X, run motion X while it's running, you can go on, open this up, you can see the different variables while it's running, or if you want to see the actual program. So this declares the axis variable is X, and then it initializes waits and make sure the Ethercat is configured, then it um, makes sure that's true, then it enables the drive. As long as that is true and it's at standstill, then it will increment the I status variable, and that I status is what's uh, being displayed in the visualization. So the first thing it does is it does it go home, and then on the next thing it waits for the home to finish so as long as that's successful and that sets the uh, position to zero all the homing is actually done at the drive so in this case the Compax 3 all the limit sensors and the home sensor are actually done at the Compax 3 the pack controller sends the uh, go home to the to the Compax 3 and is sitting there waiting until the Compax 3 it says it's done so then it clears that and then it increments the i status and then it starts the move uh it just increments out um and then waits for that move to finish after that move is finished it does a dwell uh, of a five five second dwell and then after that timer is done it clears that timer increments the i status again um, and then uh, starts the move back to uh, to the zero position. It's an incremental of minus 200. Uh, I guess that says positive. It should actually be negative. My apologies for that. And then uh, moves back, waits five seconds again, and then um, then after that timer is complete then it clears that timer and then goes back to um, back to zero.